Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I am with Rhea at 34 years old and she is in bed now as a single mom so I'm gonna ask her a question based on her experience. So Rhea, can you share your story about us? What happened why you are in bed as a single mom? Pwede ba sa iyo? Oh, sige. Isaya. Nag-iipon niya sa akong kaipon sa una for 10 years pero pag sukad nakatarbaho siya na sukad nakatarbaho siya muran siya nalingaw sa barkada inom okay she said that um, they were living together for 10 years but since her companion um, going to job or has a job uh, he will distract or uh, he will he, he would like or he want to have fun with friends going out every time going out every night with friends hang out with friends so he was distracted by friends and uh, he left his family because of that and what happened since since he was distracted and since he was go out with his friends uh, what was happened on that time is he come uh, came home came back home uh, drunk and uh, make it wild or what what Mahubog. continue so Mahubog siya mom niya mabuntagan naman siya permanente okay she naman. said that her husband is always drunk until in the morning okay back even if he was drunk, did he give, when you're living together and then he went back home drunk, uh, did he give um, support to your children? Only little. Little, a little bit because the rest of his salary is he spent already for the alcohol with his friends. And they have four children and how do you budget the little money that he give it to you dili makaigo masigil lang ko panghuwam sa mga silingan sa mga igagaw igsuon ako masigil na ko panghuwam og kwarta kay palit og bugas she said that um the salary of her husband uh who i mean the, the her husband give him his salary to her is very little so uh, what he was doing at the time is he made a budget and um, he borrowed some money to the neighbors friends or family for to buy rice and why it ended that he left you nganong naabot sa time nga gibyaan na gud mo niya unsa ang pinaka main nga reason nga nung gibyaan na gud mo niya ako na mong sing sig away permanente kada uli niya kami mabuntagan okay she yeah. said that she always get angry or upset for her husband because um it's not good to always come back home from drunk i mean come back home early in the morning and drunk okay and why you are decided why you are 100 percent decided to separate him Okay, she said that she was, uh, she decided 100% to left her husband. It's because she realized that it's not good. It's not good that um, her husband is always drunk every night until in the morning with friends. So that's why he decided. And now that you are a uh, single mom, in bed and a single mom, uh, where did you get or who support you right now with your four children? My sister, my cousin, ma ang mga papas, akong papa sa among kaliwat ng sabangkan. Okay, she said that the, um, the, per the people who support the, her and her children is her family, cousin, friends, and relatives. And what is your job now? Do you have job? No, you don't have job, but you are planning to search a job. 
Okay. And how old are your children? The oldest? Oldest, 13. And then the next one? 10. The 10. And then the last? 4. 4 and years then 3. Old. Uh, so 13? 10. 13, uh, 13 years old, 10 years old. Four and then three. Four and three. Mm -hmm. Four and three. So, and then how long, I mean, how many years since your husband left you or since you decide to separate your husband? How, three. how many years? Three, three years? years? Three years. Okay. And do you have any, uh, until now that you are separated, did he still give support to your children? Until now that you are separated? So sometimes on and only. off. Sometimes on and up, mm. but you have communication with him. Did he saw your sa, children? Maadro ko siyang tagbahuan, magkuhag ko an kwarta. Okay, she said that um, she she will go to the place where her um, ex companion work, so for for to receive the support. But the support is not. Um, I mean, it's not maintained. It's it's on and off. So it's on and off. What will be your plan for your children? Ma pahuman ako ng eskwela para makatapos sila niya, makapangita ng sila trabaho, makatabang sila na. She said, she said that her plan for the future of her children and uh, what she wish is. Um, she wanted or she wants that her children finish her, their school so that they can find a job and they can uh, they can have a good life so here in the philippines education is very very important and what was your family said when they knew your situation that your uh, husband was always drunk Huh? So, so her family and her relatives get pity on her on her situation. And where did you live now? Na sa ahmurang bay sa lamang ginikanan. Okay, so you are not rented a house. So she is living in the house of her parents. And what was your children uh, say about their situation? Ang akong kamangguang na na may buot, nakasabot, nasuko. Okay, nasuko nga? Nasuko nga inana, nga ilang amahan inana. Kuan na mo inana, nga mo barkada, inong. Okay, she said that her oldest child, uh, who is 13 years old, has... Uh, realize now that um, and upset to her to his father um, why he always drunk and why he always drunk and it's not good okay, it's not good and what are your um, because you said that you plan to uh, searching a job what kind of job that you can find for example Sa MEPSA, mga apply ko. Oh, MEPSA? So are you, uh, what, what education level are you? High school you? graduate. High school graduate. Okay, high school graduate. And are, what is your daily routine in life? Bantay bata. Laba. So, so her daily routine is taking care of her three years old, uh, three years old and four years old and other children. Yes. And then after yes, uh, making laundry of their clothes and bring their children to school. Okay. And how do you survive on your situation? Yung saan mo pag survive sa inyong situation? Para daily in, sa naupay oras ng mag-uul ko, mag-unahon na, ng ano na inaanay ko. Pero ako lang giantos kay dawati na lang na ako. Okay, she said that um, she cannot do anything. It's happened to me. So, I can't do anything. I'm gonna accept it because this is what happened to me. Okay? And what is the lesson that you learn? Kung say imong lesson na nakatunan. Kung pananglit gani, inana na gani, 
Dinala na lang magpa Dinala na lang lab ang ipa ipa sulabi ang ipatig babaw ang kaugmaon sa mga bata. Okay, she said that um if it's if if you know if if you will know already that you will be in that kind of situation, uh don't don't use the more the, the love so use think first i mean think think for the future of your children so meaning uh you make a balance you don't follow your heart but may use your mind to think about it for the future of the children what message can you give to all the single filipina woman so that they will not experience of what experience do you have um, now kuan dili magpataka sa dili magpalabi sa ilang gibati kinahanglan kung mamili man gani og lalaki kinahanglan karang responsible okay she said uh, her message to all the single filipina out there that um if ever you are search a man make it sure that he is responsible guy and uh, make it sure that um, don't follow your heart uh, use your brain also and pick up a good guy okay and what message can you uh, give to your husband i mean ex-companion kung asa magkakaroon aw naot nga malipayon na ka nga mauna yung gipili nga sa barkada inom Esta ako, maningkamot ko para sa mga anak. Okay, her message to her ex-companion is, okay, she said that, um, uh, I hope, she said that she is hoping that her ex-companion is happy now because uh, she said, you choose your friends, um, either your family, so I hope that you are happy. And um, what else you can say to her, to him? Manginaot na dili ka magmahay sa umaabot na makita ka sa imong mga anak na dagko na. Okay, she said also her message, additional message to her ex-companion that I hope you will not regret at the end of what you were, uh, of what you are doing to choose your friends. This, um, either your family and uh, I hope you will not regret when you will see your children grow up and finish their school. So thank you, Rhea. Okay, thank you, Rhea, for sharing your uh, story. And like what I said here, even like her a single mom ended as a single mom, but she will do her best or she thinks for the future of her children. And even she is in struggle um, situation, but what she thinks is bring her children to school because she really wants that her children finish their school so here in the philippines education is very important because that's the only um thing that the parents can uh, give so and they are trying also to survive even if it's hard uh even if if even their life is very hard but they are trying to survive and uh, keep strong and don't lose hope so Rhea thank you so much for sharing your story and everyone every Filipino woman here has a different story and I want to put a disclaimer that I am not a matchmaker and this video is just only for entertainment only but uh, bring you to a reality uh, and they answer my question for uh, based on their experience thoughts and opinion from them uh, because I ask them question based only of what their uh, experience in life so that's it and I just want to say that um, I need to translate what she said in English because she can speak English. Uh, she can speak English a little bit, so that's why I need to translate. So, if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. And thank you, everyone. Bye.